Breaking news. Irrespective of the happenings in Rivers, the former council chairperson in Rivers has disregarded the police ban, hold protest in support of Minister Wiki. Guys, this is interesting. Now, the former council chairman from 21 out of the 23 local government areas in River State on Monday held a protest in a show of solidarity with the minister of the FCT, Nyesom Wike. And these protesters gathered at various council headquarters, including the Buguma, where the former chairman, George, led a march through the streets, holding power cards with slogans like Sim Fubara must be held accountable and Asari to Kansu is not a personal fiefdom. These demonstrators had urged the police to maintain a presence at the council headquarters, demanding an end to the authority by uh, by the, to the actions of uh, Governor Sim Fubara. The former council chairman, loyal to the former governor, had took to the street in their various council uh, locations staging demonstrations to show their support to their leader and challenging the authorities' attempt to silence them. And this comes amid a ban on protests by the River State's Police Command. The crisis, which has claimed about three lives, began last Tuesday when the police took control of all 23 local government secretariats in the oil-rich South-South states following the expiration of the former chairman's three-year tenure. And this solution, this situation remains tense with rival, rival groups digging in their heels. And it was reported that amid the ongoing crisis rocking the state, Governor Fubara had sworn in some new caretaker chairman for the 23 local government areas of the state. And despite the protests, the police had maintained their barricade of the council premises across all local governments, effectively preventing both sides from assessing the areas and potential flashpoints in a bid to prevent the solution, uh, the, the, the situation, I beg your pardon, from escalating and to maintain public safety. And by doing so, the police aim to prevent a further breakdown of law and order and to keep the tensions from boiling over into violence. And let's not forget how the passing of the local government amendment bill into law by the River State Assembly and how Fubara had refused to sign it in a bold move, the lawmakers led by Martin Emewele had doted on the governor's decision. This amended bill would have granted the assembly the power to extend the tenure of these local chairpersons, these their vice chairpersons and councillors, if location, if uh, elections couldn't be held before the end of the three-year tenure. However, the court has struck out the amended law and an appeal was filed. Then the appeal court is set to deliver a, you know, a, a critical ruling on the, manner, on the matter which would significantly impact the political landscape of River State. Although we know that the appeal court is set to deliver a crucial ruling on this very issue and we know that any ruling from the courts would definitely impact the political landscape of River State. But you see these Mike's chairpersons, ex-chairpersons, I think they are so stubborn and they are hell-bent on creating disaster in the state. And I see the crisis in River State as man-made. Although, yes, there may be federal powers in it because they tend to gain something with this crisis going on in the state as they seek to overthrow, overthrow the, the government of uh, Fubara in River State. And Wike, yes, had given all of them appointments, but they ought to know that Wike's tenure is over and they ought to respect the current governor in the state. Why are, they show, why are they trying to be so heartless? Why are they trying to be so, you know, wicked by creating more problems in the state? What are they really protesting for? What are they really protesting for? Because I don't see any reason why they should hold protests. All because of what? They are supporting Minister Wike. Is it that Wike sent them to do all these things? Is Wike behind all these activities? Is it the one pulling their strings? to go ahead and challenge the authority of the governor in the state? Well, I trust Governor Sim Fubara. 
silent is golden as always. I mean, he wouldn't react to these uh, uh, this protest going on in the state because I, I tend to see this as a threat. What are they protesting over? Their tenors are over. They should wait until the state would bring out a date for fresh elections. I mean, common sense is not really common, but these guys, they tend to lack ordinary common sense. And it is quite shameful. Are they not, are they not ashamed of themselves? Are they not ashamed? It is unfortunate, oh, it is so, so unfortunate that these guys are so hell-bent on, you know, destroying the peace in River State. They are also contributing to the crisis going on in the states. The, the, despite the fact that, yes, they may have the backings of a, a federal power, which we all know who that person is. But that doesn't mean that they should start creating troubles for themselves because they are just wasting their time. They are just wasting their time. I mean, they are not serious. When Fubara has already created and inaugurated new caretaker committee chairman, who will oversee the affairs of uh, of the River State Local Government Council areas. So why are they protesting? Even if they protest from now till tomorrow, nothing is going to happen. Nothing will happen. They will never go back to that position, except they wish to continue from where they stop, if they are to further a second tenor, or whatsoever is going on in rivers. But protesting in support from Wiki, what is what is really, really their problem in this state? These guys should please allow peace to reign in River State. They should allow peace to reign. Because all this crisis going on in the state will not lead them anywhere. It won't lead them anywhere. Why are they manipulating themselves and bringing themselves so low to be used as puppets in the game of another person? They are being used as puppets. In support of Minister Mwike, as in how, they, wants to, they want to destroy the administration of Fubara just because they want to show their solidarity and their loyalty with Nyeso Mwike? No, 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 no. Well, I really know that this protest will not lead them anywhere. I'm sure they are trying to show, notice me, notice me. Yes, we've seen them. But this shows signs of jobless people. Yes, they are actually jobless and they have no vision. People that their tenure have expired, what are they waiting for? Instead of them to retire quietly, Fubara has already set up a committee. So what are they protesting for? Are they protesting that Fubara should bring them back into their local government council? Or what are they really looking for? This is actually, you know, wickedness. So because this protest is, is really unnecessary. But it's okay. I mean, uh, no one is stopping them from protesting. At least they are expressing their fundamental human rights, the right to free protest, the right to free movement. And this shows that Fubara is indeed a gentleman. Because had it been, yes, Onwike is in the position of Fubara, no one in the state would dare bring up such an act when Wike is the governor. You won't, you won't try that. Fubara is such a gentleman, oh, I must say. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.